Welcome back. We are going to look at the second G major minuet by Bach from our book. We have one more G major minuet a later, little bit later on in the book, which is a wonderful piece. And uh, here we have the uh, G major that is the second one in our book for the minuets. And it has a few techniques that I wanted to go over. We've been talking about these in the book, uh, but it's always a good idea to see some of these techniques in different contexts. So we're going to look a little bit at uh, using the wrist and changing positions here, as well as maybe a, a little bit of a thumb under technique. So um, I'm going to start with the first two measures of the minuet. It's in three, four, like all minuets. So you'll count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three in your playing. So we're going to start off with a D with the fifth finger above the two Ds above middle C, okay? And we're just going to play that D. And what you might do is play the the phrase slightly dynamically so that the, the notes have a a slightly different loudness or softness in a sweep. So maybe that first D mezzo piano and then drop your wrist down to play the G and then kind of walk up with, as you're walking up, lift your wrist up a little bit and that will create a natural kind of vocal quality to that melodic line. And then you might have seen that on the G's I let my wrist pop up a little bit. So that's what we want to do for that. Just kind of uh, push the note, that G down with the thumb, but let the, the wrist gently move up. Like that. Okay. The, um, the next phrase on measures three and four, we're going to walk up from a C to a G and then have our hand stretch out while we're walking up to that G. We're going to have the low G ready with our thumb. And so it will, sound, it will sound like this, starting on the E. You can see I placed those G's as well with the wrist. Once again, let's now look at measures five, six, seven, and eight, and we will play those measures and then we'll talk a little bit about the thumb under technique. So here are those four measures. Okay, so we're going to have a few of these sequences here, two of them. The first measure, which is measure five, is followed by this theme that is a, uh, a sequence or a pattern on a different notes. Okay, similar to measure five. Then what's going to happen is we'll go over with the second finger and then back under with the thumb on the uh, from the F sharp to the G. So this is a technique we're going to be finding um, a fair amount of times throughout the book. So here we go. That's where our second finger goes over, then thumb goes back under. 